Praise the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. Amen, Pastor Raymond. The Lord has spoken with me. Um, I just need your listeners to know that the Lord spoke with me this past night, the night before this night. And uh, in that tremendous conversation of the Lord, he took me to a place where he sent me. He had sent me to that place. And uh, as I was in that place, the Lord brought me into the meeting, and it's a healing service. Then I saw a tremendous visitation of the Lord into that mighty, mighty healing service. And that healing service seems to be somewhere in Europe, because I see white people. And as I was there, the Lord, I see the Lord heal this crippled man, totally crippled, as I walks into the meeting towards him and then he gets up. A man, a mature man who was totally crippled and I thought the knees are the problem. I look at the knees. It looks like the problem was with the knees. He was totally crippled. And then he gets up for the first time and begins to walk. And so there was quite a big, big, big drama. There was a big celebration that took place, and people are clapping. Whatever it comes to, people are clapping. So I've seen a very massive healing service and a tremendous mega visitation of the Lord that is coming. And uh, this uh, man, as he's healed, he's a white man, I see him trying with his legs to walk like that, to do as if he's rollerblading, going with a rollerblader, this this thing that has wheels that uh, people use, the rollerblade. He's trying to do that now, he's walking very well, he's also trying to rollerblade and saying he's going to rollerblade, you know, and uh, there was a big celebration that was taking place, that took place in that place of the visitation of the Lord. And this place is going to be in Europe. So there's going to be a tremendous visitation of Jehovah in uh, one of the meetings in Europe where there's going to be a healing service. And the healing service that we have is right now scheduled for Finland. But the Lord is sovereign. So even the meeting that I am headed to, to Italy, this coming week, the big conference in Italy, he could as well heal there also, because the Lord Jehovah, our God, is absolutely sovereign, and that is his preserve, that is his right and authority. And so the Lord is saying that there's going to be a big, big visitation in Europe this year. He's going to visit Europe, and he's going to heal a lot of people in Europe, even those who are crippled are going to get up and walk, and it will stun the people of Europe. It will draw most of them to the Lord. And this comes at a very, very important time, at a time when the clock is counting down towards the glorious coming of the Messiah. And at the same time, we now see that this is the prayer that I have put in for a very long time that the Lord may disseminate this revival from Kenya to many other nations, especially Europe, Latin America, Asia, North America, Central America, Australia, New Zealand, and many other nations, that they too may be given the opportunity that uh, Kenya has had, that Kenya has enjoyed, in witnessing the latter glory that was prophesied in the Bible. Now, when these things come to pass, they shall indeed also score on the tremendous board of the Lord. They will score the nearness with which the coming of the Lord has drawn. Again, I see that the Lord Jehovah is going to visit his church. He is beginning to visit more nations this year. He is going to visit more nations. He's going to ignite revival. In other words, revival is going to be ignited 
into many other nations to greater heights and levels. And this year we have a very packed calendar. It's very busy. And so we are going to witness the genesis of the global revival that has been for so long awaited. However, just as is the case in Kenya, this revival is launched on the foundation of repentance and the complete turning away from sin and the return to holiness. So if there is any message that is resonating, coming forth from this pronounced visitation of the Lord Jehovah that is coming to your nations in Europe and elsewhere, then the message is that without holiness, you cannot sustain that revival. The message is that only holiness and righteousness through repentance sustains this revival. And Kenya is the classical case where repentance has continued to throb in the land and holiness has been the hunger and the urge of every Christian in this big, big wave of revival. And that's why this revival has grown to greater heights, to tremendous heights of glory, even after 10 years. And so even as the Lord sends me this coming week, beginning early this next week, to Italy and eventually to Finland for the big healing service, the Lord is saying that when this revival arrives, even as the words of my tongue have spoken, May you please preserve this revival, preserve the gain, that you too may be at a lofty place of righteousness and be found ready on that very mighty day of reckoning, the day of rapture, the day of the glorious coming of the Messiah. May those who have ears listen to these words of the Lord and prepare the way in their hearts bringing down the mountains of idolatry, the love of money, idolatry to sin, idolatry to events, idolatry to things of the world, idolatry to philosophies, ideologies, the many idolatries that have raised themselves above Christ in your heart. May the Lord now bring down those idolatries, those mountains using this revival, and that he may have a way in your heart that when the Messiah comes and the nations are gathered, that even your European nations, your Latin American nations, your North American nations, Asian nations, Australian nations, New Zealand nations, that all the nations may be given a chance to assemble unto the Lord. Shalom.